Welcome to another episode of the Reluctant Adult Podcast. My name is Paul, and I am joined, as always, by the man who thinks your mannequin collection is kind of weird, Bill. Hi, everyone. And creepy. Super creepy, but also awesome. Very All of awesome. those things. Yeah. So our content had a very polarizing week. Um, we had two. We talked about two things that people were very interested in. First was the story about the Ninja Turtles having a ethnicity. I kept right. saying nationality, but those are two different things. Yes. So what we were trying to say was that in the Power Rangers uh, Ninja Turtles crossover from Boom Studios, the Ninja Turtles are depicted as humans, and they're ethnicity is african-american their nationality matters less we don't even they're still from new york (laughs) they're still from new york they're still from new york um so that that conversation actually i feel like was pretty pretty civil i don't feel like i I feel like most people were like yeah yeah they're black yeah of course (laughs) of course right but then some people are like i've never heard a black person say cowabunga and they're like, I checked back through the records. There's not documentation There's of no one documentation. single person of color using the word cowabunga. Okay. So it's hard to argue with that. But, yes. um, you know, all the, I, uh, I think... Uh-huh. All the... Um, everyone being like, they're American. It all just reminded me of those old Muzzy commercials where they're like, uh-huh. That's, that is French they're speaking. But those children aren't French. They're American. They're American. <laughs> don't don't get it twisted. We didn't bring a couple of uh, baguette chewing <laughs> Frenchies in here. Yeah, um, I love that uh, commercial, but I can never I can good. never remember it exactly. So I'm always like, Bouge. I can't. Yeah, because like the one sentence of French, it's like bonzi, bonjour, and like that's Bonjour. not. I'm just saying gibberish there. Ici. I can't even remember. <laughs> Zichou la jolie. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's French. Those children are speaking, but no, they're not French. They're okay. They're good. they're they're American. <laughs> they're American, made in America. Ugh. Um, yeah. So I think you know some people were like, uh, they're white because they say say cowabunga. A lot of people were like, absolutely, they are black. Absolutely, we hundred sure. percent. We've been trying to tell you. Um, the, a lot I of them the broke people, it down by ethnicity that they weren't all yes. just black. That they were. Well, they really, you know, they really thought about it. Yeah, yeah each, each they turtle deep. was each, probably each a different ethnicity. Yeah, correct. Some people on TikTok um, did duets or what's it called when you like stitches. They stitched us. They left us in stitches. Yes, and they those did. there was one gentleman in particular that was very. Uh, excited yes, <laughs> to he make was. his video very enthusiastic yes. about his uh, opinions and I, I believe he thought that the, tur- the turtles were white is that is that correct they were at least they were at least american i think Ameri- yeah <laughs> he i was, I, I'm, he was more inclined to just pose the fact that they were american <laughs> they were okay they were america yeah. red white and blue turtles yeah um so that was fun the the video actually that got us the most flack was the video about the X Men mannequins that the gentleman from Instagram is yes. creating, and you discovered that he's a local. He's local to you. He's in he's Massachusetts. Local to me. Yeah, I can I can visit so, him. I think you need to. I think we I need will. to go over there and do a vlog, and we're gonna put that yeah. on YouTube, and it's gonna be our highest rated video since uh, Collector's Crush. <laughs> That's right? still our top video. What happened to them? We I still don't know. Don't know. We Maybe still I don't should. Know. I'll, I'll dress up like Collector's Crush and go over there. You do have the costume. We saw that in yes. the previous episode. Yeah, oh, yeah. That my my be. wife's clothing. Yeah, your wife's clothing. Yeah, <laughs> that's all yeah. it is. <laughs> what costume? Uh, and hold for editing and yeah so people <laughs> i i just made the offhand comment that um it, it's a little creepy it's a little weird right. to have all of these life-sized mannequins yeah. regardless of what they are mannequins it's are weird creepy. to have That's life-size any mannequins are just inherently creepy yes, they are especially and like these technically are undressed because he painted them right <laughs> and like i guess he sculpted the like it's not like you're seeing seeing you know i don't know some mannequins are more detailed than others sure. you're not seeing the you know the detail um but the, you know they're not wearing fabric clothing so they're they're naked mannequins in this guy's house but it's art art is weird like he wanted to make giant versions of this character what better way to do it right so it's i still, think it's still weird it's weird i think he's working on gambit next 
Yes, I with a with a fabric trench coat, which I guess yes. is how you have to do it. Yeah, so. that one is exciting to me. I want to see because I'm when I think of he's got his the the his eyes are black, right? The whites of his eyes are black, and then like right. the pupils are red. Yes. Always or like when he powers up, like that's just how he's depicted. I think always. always. I think always. Like even in the cartoon, but like in every form of media, is that how he's depicted? It's a good question. I'm not too sure. Because just... that's weird. Is there another character that's not like the devil it's not <laughs> that like has the... red eyes like that? Oh, uh, that's why I they couldn't one. get that Channing Tatum movie going because they're like, yeah, you got to wear the contacts. Like, right? Well, I'm not gonna do it. I think I think he's got night. I think he's got Nightcrawler going too. Oh, he must have got a, a shipment of male bodies then. He's or yes. ran out of female characters to do. So I, I mean, I'm gonna try to. Figure, I think when when I start seeing like Cyclops, I think I'll reach. Oh, there out. you go. I'll reach out then. You want to see the process? In yeah, person. I need to see. Yeah, and I'll get over. And what there you do, and we'll do a what you need to do blog. is you need to go dressed as an X Men character. Okay, so you can like pose with them. Oh right, maybe can you I'll find, go like, as a local Professor cosplay X. group. Oh, there you go. Right? Shave your head. <laughs> I, get a I hover could chair. wear a bald cap. Maybe a hover chair. No, you you have to commit. Go you all the way. Head. I'll make I'll make the hover chair out of cardboard. Right, so you can like your legs are walking, but you got to make that yes. cloud like the Toy Biz figure. Make the cloud below. Oh it, sure, it covers your that legs. Makes sense. Uh-huh. I'll just get some uh, polyfill and glue it below it. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Got do you, all speaking, out. just this is a, this is an aside, but do you remember when Toy Biz was doing the build the figures and? Someone leaked a photo of a Professor X build a figure with that gold chair. And this was before Hasbro put out their version. This was okay. Toy Biz days. And we never got that figure, but somebody leaked the photo of the proposed build a figure. Sounds it, I, it sounds it just familiar. never happened. Yeah. Never happened. And yeah. I think somebody said that that was like an intern <laughs> and they're like that was their shot. They're like, oh, I'm gonna leak this. I'm gonna be famous. Oh, and they were just they were removed from the face of the earth. You only, you only got you one mess. shot. You don't mess. Yeah. With, with Jesse Falcon and the gang. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. So I'm excited to see where these these mannequins go. I'm glad that we're following it now. And, You're uh, right. I wonder where they'll go. I wonder what their final their final. Uh, yeah. Do you think he'll sell them or like he must like bring them to conventions because that would be so, cool or like a comic shop. There's like lots least, of things you could do with them. At least on his inter in, his Instagram, it does say he's a mannequin maker. So right. There's other must... there's other ones on there. There's yes. I saw I saw some like long hair like he he does. That's his medium. He works in mannequin. So he must maybe he sells the, yeah like you said comic shops or mm-hmm. events or things of that nature. Wouldn't what? be surprised. I'm gonna ask him, and he's gonna be like, "I can't sell them; they're my children. Yeah, they're my right. children of the atom. I this have is, to this keep is, them all. This is my ex mansion. This is my ex mansion. What if yeah. you roll up and he's dressed like Professor X? That's gonna be oh like right, a, yeah, you, couple I, of, couple of profs hanging I'll, out. I'll bring him a sign that says Xavier is school for gifted gifted mutants or whatever. Oh my god, children. I get to see like, here's like, your gift into the front, yep. front front of the yard. What a right. great this is a great segment. We could we if we if you we do this right, we could sell this to Comedy Central, I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> they they need shows. Everybody needs shows. The writers are never coming back. Oh, okay. Oh, too so funny. that's fun. Yeah, I'll that's reach fun. out. I'll um, reach out soon. Be like, hey, I'm local. <laughs> how far are you? How far are you? Where are you? And he might. He, it, everyone says Boston and Massachusetts anyway. So it's like right. Boston encompasses such a large area in terms of Massachusetts uh, mm-hmm. square mileage. Like outside of Boston, you know, you could yeah. be 30 miles out and you're still like, yeah, I'm from Boston. So, it, you know, sure. he might be that's like literally like knows. a town over from me and I might not even realize it. Could you imagine you're living next to this guy? He's got he's making mannequins this whole time. You didn't know it. I mean, I don't think anybody even knows what's in my basement. So it's like, yeah, I can imagine. Oh, right. That's another segment. What's in Bill's basement? What's in it? Take a don't tour. Tell it. Don't Take tell a room anybody. tour. People are people always want you to do a room tour, but you refuse. I, I you know, it's it's tough to do room Is tours it? just mm-hmm. because you put yourself you put it out there, mm-hmm. and it's like I don't have a security system. Do oh, you think someone's gonna break in because they, they see? Could, they could. I mean, they 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 got to know what. I mean, it's not like you have one thing that right. they would steal. Like they would have to bring a friggin' truck. They would. 
to take it all. <laughs> and most of it is not going to be worth the jail time. And it's all it's all loose, too. That's the other thing. It's yeah, like you that's really the thing. It's not really spend the worth day. anything. Yeah. Like, oh, I'll take that. It's the oh, I got a bag of this. Of it. Yes, yes. It's like if, 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 like, you know, God forbid a, a fire destroyed your house, it, you'd be out quite a bit. But some, yeah, if someone true. wanted to, like, flip this stuff, it would be decades before they <laughs> could do, get through everything. Uh, so please don't rob Bill. Please don't. No, don't. I was thinking about um, insurance here, house and ins- home insurance here in Florida is. is, is it's a problem. It's a big problem, and nobody yeah. seems to be doing anything about it. But I was thinking, um, it doesn't inc- it doesn't cover your collection really, and they sell separate collectible insurance, right? And I'm like, who's the market for this? Like, first of all, how much do you think you're paying? It must not be like very much each month, because okay. like if you were paying like a thousand dollars a year for collectibles insurance like after 10 10 years that's ten thousand maybe if you have like something maybe if you like collect prototypes or like you have the original star wars figures mint in box like something maybe. but like like just for like everyday people who like buy and open their toys like there's no way that's worth it there's no way right yeah it's definitely a niche a niche insurance. Yeah. And like, it's almost good like luck getting them to pay out, probably. It's almost like when you're like, oh, do you have pet insurance? And you're like, mm, <laughs> no. <laughs> My pet insurance is if you get sick, I'm going to get a new pet. Or I'm just yeah. not going to have this pet anymore. So That's how it works. Well, There's the just raccoons running around outside that are free. They, That's they don't, true. They'll come. Do you My, just give them a pork chop? You, you got a new pet right there. My parents have been feeding the wildlife for the last three weeks. It's bizarre. They're just like the game camera is a lot of fun. Forget about like the writers writing material. They just watch their yeah. they just watch their uh, their trail cam. And yeah. Like, what animals came out? They're just feeding whatever the hell they want. Bobcats, raccoons. Well, possums. that's not a good idea. You the got, only thing they haven't some... seen is the damn bear. That's like. Oh. When's you the bear really... going to come? So my son how can far be away... like, there's a bear. How far away is this trail cam? You don't want these things too close to your house. Like, no oh, it's like, food source. it's like five feet from the house and then they go out well, that's daily bad. and then that's just put stuff idea. out. Yeah. <laughs> I was watching this video on TikTok about how to befriend crows. Oh, yeah. Because crows will bring you presents. Yes, <laughs> like, they will. Like, that's part of their behavior. They'll trade trinkets for for food but they were like the person said you don't want to be sustaining like an entire flock of crows because then murder. that's that's bad a murder of crows yeah you just want like one buddy crow that that's that's gonna bring you some right. Legos or keys or something that so be- that's what i want to do but i mentioned raccoons because we my wife and i saw guardians of the galaxy 3 it was very good we'll get to that in a second but um now my wife wants a pet baby raccoon which I okay. have always wanted. I have always, I've always wanted a pet raccoon. They are delightful. They're little hands. They can stand like people. Oh, they're little scamps. Yeah. Um, do they have rabies? Are those one of the rabies carrying ones? I feel like yes. I mean, they can get rabies. They're not born. Nothing's yeah. born with rabies. No, no, no. I'm not saying that, but you like don't know because they're, if you get they're a if baby. You, well, okay, but I don't know. I'm just saying no. if you find a raccoon. Out in the day, that's the thing. It's like he's probably a little messed up because they're, they're supposed to be. be hiding from you. Yeah, right. Um, but it's like, how do you find a baby raccoon just by chance? I've seen like, videos of people just finding one, but I feel like it's staged. I feel like they stole it from a litter and put it oh, there. Like, Look, I'm rescuing sad. it. Yeah, don't the, be the, mad at me. The true, the true what was the the villain in that one. The uh, in Guardians. Yeah. Uh, the face guy. Yeah, the face the, guy. What is his name? Pie face? Yeah. <laughs> stretchy, stretchy face. Stret- Robo yeah. Cup, man. <laughs> it's like from that McFarlane line. What was it? Where they had like the face all stretched out. What oh, was that line called? Clive like, Barker's. Uh, yeah. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah, that's the Clive it Barker. Was, you know, you know it what we're was. talking about. Tortured How the Souls. hell? That it was Tortured Souls. That was that, sold to Toys R Us, right? That, like, that was sold to Toys R Us. What a crazy time. <laughs> They're like, like you want to see the most graphic, crazy thing that you can do to the human body? Here's an action figure of it, kids. 
<laughs> wow. Right next to your starting lineup. Like, what the? How did they? How did? Who, first of all, who approved that? Like, right. And how long did it last? I remember a mom got upset because they were selling Breaking Bad toys. At toys oh, yeah. Us. That was the but tale. I mean, that was this. That was well past the McFarland stage of. Well, yeah, that was tor- very near the we end. Had yeah. Tortured souls. We had six mm-hmm. faces of madness. We had the the infernal parade or whatever the heck that was with like the circus freaks. Wizard of oh, Oz. Right. Remember Wizard yeah. of Oz? That was weird. Yes. The McFarland's monsters, which were like bizarre. Yeah. yeah. The list goes on and on. Uh, fairy tales. They had that weird ass Humpty tales. Dumpty that nobody oh, wanted. It was just yes. like this gelatinous sloth. Gross. I don't even know. Did they do the seven oh, deadly sins or something? That's that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, because you said sloth. They they did. They did the the seven deadly sins. And yeah, they created a disgusting creature for each of them. Yes. <laughs> and kids bought them. I, no, there's no way. I don't know who bought those. Yeah. Not Somebody us, clearly. No. Speaking of McFarland, they are doing a new movie maniacs, but it's, oh, it's yeah. not. It's it's like they're they're just using the name because this this was a pre existing line. But these right. are pre posed. They're just like very random. Like this new set has the Zach Galifianakis character from The Hangover with yes. the baby, you know, in this right. front. Um, Sloth from the Goonies and Gandalf. As if we don't have enough Lord of the Rings figures. Right. Now we got McFarland doing them. Best action Gandalf. We've got Diamond mm-hmm. Select Gandalf. Diamond Select. Now we've got McFarland Toy Biz original. Gandalf. Still the Toy best. Toy Biz Gandalf. The very mm-hmm. true. Yeah. Yeah. So oh my god. That Toy Biz line was, was great. It was was extensive. I've I've known a lot of this stuff. Burger is King like, send away figure. Oh yeah. A lot of this mm-hmm. stuff was like WB properties. It seems like it seems like the WB like licensed out their catalog to McFarland. Oh okay. But I well, could be mistaken. It's just they I got bugs. Know. They got Bugs Bunny for Christ's sake. Well, they're also doing uh, Ted Lasso. Ted Lasso. Apple, I think Apple, but maybe who? Okay. I don't know who produces it. My right. wife is a fan of Ted, La- Ted Lasso. I couldn't get into it. It's yeah. too nice. I don't like. Yeah, you it. mentioned it, it was it, too nice. It's too nice. I don't like it. Uh, and I don't care about soccer. Two strike two. You're out. Um, yeah, I, don't, I don't like Jason Sudeikis that much. So right then and there, can't watch. There you it. Go. Can't, I mean, yeah, you couldn't watch it. The, right. the, the, it's impossible. Anyway, she she was like, oh, do they make Ted Lasso pops? And the only one, only one I can think of is Target has Coach Beard with like a hula hoop. And he's always there. Nobody would, Nobody's going to buy him. Um, so she she's requesting some Ted Lasso pops. But I don't okay. know. I mean, I'm sure if they make that guy, they, they definitely make Ted Lasso. Sure. But like sometimes pops or Funko will just do like. 12 different versions of the main character and right. like no supporting characters. So I don't know what the pop line for Ted Lasso looks like, but now I'm going to have to investigate. We still don't know what the villain was from guardians three. How did I forget? I'm getting like really bad with names and everything. I don't even try to remember. Damn it. Because I will immediately forget. <sighs> Maybe we'll. I'm not gonna look it up. It'll be the goal to remember by the end of the show. That's it's a like good the goal to something, have. right? The enricher, the usurper, the grand inquisitor, Floridian. the grand Floridian, the art of animation. He was a good villain. If they have He's... to replace Kang, they can just slide him in there. He's pretty scary. It'd be very nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That movie was really good. Um. It. I it makes me sad that I didn't like the second one because what a great trilogy it would have been if I liked the second movie. How many but times did you see the second movie? Just once, just once. You once might go back and watch it and up, watch it again. You might. Just I like so it so much. With there's his a lot dad, of like right, but CGI. like I don't know if it was that terrible. I think I think the first act is fun with the sovereign. I liked the fact that they were all flying yeah. drones. And it was like a video game to them. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I think I didn't like the way they split up the team because you didn't have the dynamics that I enjoyed from the first one. Oh, sure. So with this one, you got enough interactions between the right characters. But I mean, right. now they've sort of stuck Batista, um, Drax with uh, Lotus. Was that Mantis. her name? Mantis. Mantis. <laughs> they've stuck them. Like they became a team like in the Christmas special. Right. Um, and then obviously uh, Gamora is is 
sort of a different character. Like she has no memory yeah. of the previous. It's like a reset on her. I thought that was fine. I enjoyed her performance. She got to swear a little. That was nice to see. That I feel fun. like that actually gives it a little more like realness. They had the f bomb in the car. That was yeah. that. Even though we knew it was coming, it was funny. It was funny it was. when it played out. Yeah. Did you enjoy Groot? You were I like the Groot? final form of Groot. The, the um, King Groot. Yeah, people are calling him Alpha Groot. I don't know if that's Alpha the official Groot. name. It might be. Um. I didn't. I still don't love like this current incarnation of Groot because I feel like they had to make him human size to like fit in the frame. Like that was the goal right. to like not ha- not have the frame like really high, like oh, too much sure. headroom for the normal characters. So like let's just make him a little smaller. This Groot um, almost seems indestructible just because it was yeah. like you know the the very beginning he gets blasted into like a thousand pieces he's, and all this left the head. head. My God, my yeah. my kid who saw it with me and he's like. It's a spider. Look at the spider. I know. It was like, yep, yeah, okay. And then, like, yeah. I'm like, oh, this is the end of Groot. He's just a head. And then all of a sudden, he's just, yeah. like, growing, he's like, back. this skeletal structure. And it was like, yep, he's back right. He's like, him. he's like when you just see the, uh, the like, the veins. Right. People, yeah. Like, he's got the vascular. That, in that the view in the anatomy system. book. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Um, and that was fine. Um, the storyline would rock it. My God, I forgot you took your kids to this. How did he feel about the animals? Tooth? I don't. Teeth? Teeth? teeth floor? Teeth? Floor and Lila? Lila. I don't think he noticed. There was one, the one part that I actually covered his eyes. I was, I, I never usually oh, yeah. cover. Um, Where they're, they're blasting. They just come in there blasting. I think it was actually when Rocket goes after his face. Oh yeah, I covered his eyes with that. Yeah, and then <laughs> didn't show anything. Though. No, but then I think I I think I did it twice because then I I did it when they they peeled off the mask as well. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah, yeah, he's like Two Face under there. Covered that up too. Mm-hmm. So that's, that was the first time I've done that. You should just bring like glasses, like blackout glasses. Like, put oh, on sure. your glasses, son. Get your glasses, earmuff time, or whatever the heck Ear-muff, they have exactly during yeah. during muffs. that old school. Mm-hmm. Yeah, eye muffs. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh. Um, very good he just the director James Gunn just does a really good job of these family dynamic stories like it's just a better like we don't how many times can you save the world or the universe like we need right. a more grounded mm-hmm. story uh, so it gives me hope for the DC universe because oh, yeah. he's in charge now he's he's the guy making the, the decisions I mean he's so, done uh, he's done fairly good stuff with DC so far some of the more yes. memorable Yes. Uh, contributions with Peacemaker and yep. the Suicide Squad. Suicide I mean, squad, both yeah. both hold up as the second Suicide Squad. Uh, did he do the first one or just the, he just did the second one? Correct, because he was still with Marvel. That yeah. was before he got fired for tweets right. 1,300 years ago. Um, yeah, definitely those those two projects are uh, like – they just they just feel different they they he just has his they like it's not that it, like his characters are improvising necessarily but mm-hmm. it just feels more real the humor is a little bit less forced i guess it's yes. more natural it's yes. more of a natural humor it's more you natural tell, i think that's you can what tell is, that yeah. you can tell that the actors have a bit of a camaraderie with them yeah. and they're just not like sharing the screen together <laughs> it's funny because People love. I don't know why people love to pick on this guy because they're like going after him for putting his wife in everything. But like, so what? I don't know. She's an actress. <laughs> like, did yeah. you have someone else you wanted to play this random character in Guardians of the Galaxy? Who's his wife? So his wife was in um, uh, the John Cena project. What we were just talking about. What was it? Peacemaker. Yeah. So his wife was in Peacemaker. She's the blonde woman. Oh, okay. Who, yeah, who's yeah, more yeah. of a central character. She was in Guardians of the Galaxy as on. Uh, she's like on the bad guy's side. She gets shot in the leg at one point. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, she has the microphone. She goes like, whoosh. Uh, yes. But like, not a big role. Like, whatever. Like, what did you want? Did you have like you want Scarlett Johansson in that role? You thought like someone else should be there. Like I don't know. It, like you want to work with your family. I don't. I think it's fine. Right. Well, yeah. Every, he had, it's Hollywood. Nepotism it, is Hollywood. They're synonymous. He had Jenna Fisher in uh, in Slither. Slither. Yeah. 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 That's just his mo. That's yeah, how he rolls. Just likes putting the people that he likes in his movies. 
Yeah, he likes to watch him get shot in the leg. That's yeah. that's what that's, that's his thing. Leave the guy alone. He's trying to save the DC universe. Um, so that's that's fun. Let's hop back over to the Disney side of things. Did you see that Steve Urkel is going to be in the Skeleton Crew? I know very little of the Skeleton Crew other than I think Jude Law is Jude Law, the main yeah. star of this. When does it take place? What is the <laughs> timeline? I think it's along the same lines as the Mandalorian. I think it's around there and like the discovery mm-hmm. of the First Order or whatever. I I could be mistaken. Wow. I have I have no clue. I know very little okay. about this. All right, we're going in cold. That's fine. That yeah, fine. I prefer to go. At this point, it's yeah. cold all the way. If the cold colder the, the better. Way. The colder the better. That's how I. That's how I like my soda. Um, yeah. So, um, Jaleel White was on. I think it was like an NHL like intermission report or something. Yeah. And he's like, "Yeah, I got this project coming up with Jude Law. It's called Skeleton Crew." He didn't even like mention that it was Star Wars. Like, yeah, he's playing a real. <laughs> we got we got Stefan. Urkel, Urkel up here, Urkel, yeah. <laughs> Play it, playing it cool. Um, but wow. I, it's funny because like I, he, I don't really think of him as like being like a modern actor, but maybe yeah. he is. I don't know. He, I don't he hasn't really popped up. Anything other than Urkel, <laughs> all oh, I yeah. ever think of him as. So it's like the Star Wars universe now is all about redeeming characters and actors like show showing the people show, showing I, off geez. these people still have the, the skills to pay the bills sure i don't think i don't think urkel needs any redemption i think he was one of the most beloved characters of the late 80s and early 90s well there you go that was a long time ago if he still wants to be an actor sure. nobody's casting him ah uh, very true. show off his skills yeah. yes yeah I'm not saying he got canceled or anything. I'm just saying it's been a long time since he's it's done well. anything of notes as far as I'm aware. Maybe I'm missing something, but I don't think I am. So looking forward to that. Along the same vein, Married with Children is coming back as a cartoon. Have you heard oh, anything that, about this? That's the uh, the revival. It's a cartoon. Okay. It's a cartoon. Yeah. Okay. I, I just what? heard something about the revival, but I didn't know it was cartoon based. Someone from Family Guy is going to be the showrunner. So okay. the question is, is it going to be a direct continuation? Is it going to, to time jump to present day? When it's an animation, you can do anything you want. Yeah. I'm surprised. I'm surprised they just don't. I mean, I don't know what Christina Applegate's up to now. I thought she might have been done with with Well, that's the thing. And she, she her health probably problems. won't be on camera. Right. But she did say that she will still provide the voice for yeah. her character i don't know i never got I, it I, I i talked to people up and down i missed being intrigued by married with children it was like one, <gasps> that was like one of the shows that like i was you didn't like it no i never watch... got to watch it you I'm, weren't allowed to was not okay. allowed to wow yeah yeah i probably should not have been allowed to yeah. but, but like here's the thing I definitely didn't get any of the jokes <laughs> because <laughs> it, it's it's still like in syndication. And when I worked at the TV station, I would be there at three thirty in the morning, and it would be on TV while I was waiting yeah. for the show. And I would watch it, and I'd be like, "What the hell? Like, how did they get away with all of this? It's crazy." Oh, sure. It's like all you know is like he would stick his hand down his pants, but right. it was just like to the thumb, <laughs> so it was just like weird. But you never thought about like, oh, that probably is indicative of something more <laughs> and then like the, the, the crowd would cheer uh, uh-huh. no pig woo, woo, woo. Uh, no pig <laughs> man <laughs> now i'm excited now i'm excited for this there we go maybe they could get homer in on in there too why i don't know why the hell <laughs> why not? just he just walks in <laughs> yeah hidely hodely there you go I saw that for the King of the Hill revival, they are going to age up the characters. Oh, crazy. Not Maybe not like to present day, but they it did say they're going to be a little older. L- okay. So I'm interested to see what an older Bobby Hill is like. Right. <laughs> like, has his character totally changed? Or is uh, he still sort of the aloof <laughs> Bobby that we love? Right. Watch him have... Oh, I don't even know. 
be, that'd yeah, be something. I don't know. So, but Mike Judge, I I trust him, even though I haven't watched any of the the, the new Beavis and Butthead. Yeah, it's supposed but to I, be fun. I feel like is it okay? Because yeah. they do they do like certain ones where Beavis and Butthead are older, right? But I don't think that's the entire show. I think it like switches back and forth. It does. It does. I trust in Mike Judge. I feel like he uh, he is one of those people that gets it, and he uh, will will do a good job. I still need to make on. you a top five for King of the Hill, just so you can enjoy it. I recently for a coworker, yeah. I made a top five like X Files to watch. Oh, you made like a, a mixtape, <laughs> kind of yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was yeah, like, that's fun. I was like, this part of person. I was always talking about like early '90s stuff and like. Are you afraid of the dark and things that like oh, snick, yeah. snick cartoons and all snick? that stuff? Yeah, all that stuff. So I was wow. like, "Oh, you're pretty cool." I go, "Did you ever watch the X Files?" And she's like, "Oh, no, no." And I'm like, "She's like, I like Twin Peaks though." And I'm like, "Oh, you probably like the X Files." So oh, wow. I talked That's to my crazy. cousin who's also big into the X Files, and I was like, "If you could pick mm. five, what would you pick?" Mm. And I go, "Here's what I would pick." I go, "I wouldn't stick with any of the mythology stuff, oh, yeah. the overarching alien." But I go, "Monster mm-hmm. of the Week stuff, pick." pick mm. five episodes and it was actually pretty easy because they were they were pretty popular but she watched some of them one? and then she took notes which was weird okay yeah <laughs> what she took notes, notes so she could discuss them discuss it and i was like did you take notes so you could tear apart my childhood mm. which and she kind of did oh no they were very like she very listened to the show edgy notes no all right well she sounds like a bitch so, uh, <laughs> what was your number one? What was your number one? Uh, I didn't really have a episode. number one. I think I went from I went from seasons one through five, mm-hmm. and picked out one top episode from each each season. Okay, cool. So that's great. That I reminds can do that me that with King of the Hill though for you very easily. That would be great. Yeah, because I'm definitely not going to be able to uh, yeah. just like watch it from start to finish. Like, right. I just don't have the time. I don't have the time. No, not with this nice weather. You got to capitalize on the good weather, at least on our end up here. Yeah. If you are listening to this in its podcast form, I apologize. The next few minutes are going to not be as exciting. Or I, they, I'm gonna, you know, it, we put the show on YouTube. You can watch the entire hour. I cut it up and put it on TikTok. I'm gonna show you some stuff. So what I'm saying is, if you're just listening to the audio, you're not gonna be able to see it with your eyes. You're gonna hear it with your ears. So we, we've been talking about Hasbro's starting lineup figures for a while, and um, they finally came in stock on Entertainment Earth, so I grabbed a couple because I wanted to see what they're like. So the, the they're at the new price, what, $30? Is that the new the new standard price without the NFT? I think that's Yeah, right. that sounds right. <sighs> Much more reasonable. Um, you, could, you could get rid of, like, the Nike logos and drop another 10 because, seriously, who... Who cares? Like you could, I, like I, I guess you got to keep the team name. But I'm almost like get rid of the team name. <laughs> just just, just add, have the figures. Add your own Nike Nike logo. It's the easiest thing to do. The Nike logo is so stupid. Like I want to know. I want to see a breakdown of how much they're paying for this little swoosh on the the pants. On the pants, jeez. Yeah, on the pants, and then the socks have them. It's just Ugh. it's just stupid. It's like they they really were trying to make these so accurate except they didn't yeah. put any tattoos so i feel like right. that negates everything anyway um so what i did the first thing i did i pulled their heads off and i put my selfie series head on there there we go <laughs> and it doesn't fit perfectly but this one this is the stormtrooper head so i guess the star wars heads fit pretty well like you can put okay. them upside down and it won't fall oh very good i love i love this i love that i can make myself a celtic look at that so there one of go. the alternate hands comes with the basketball permanently attached. There's no loose basketball, which I kind of wish it came with a loose basketball. I don't know if one of the other characters has a loose basketball because the two that I got, I got the one white guy so that my my head would make sense. This is the sure. one pale, pale guy. Um, again, basketball stuck to the hand, which is great. That's really cool because you don't have to worry about falling off. It's just yeah. nice for like your figure photography. Um, but I would like an, another because, like, you can't have two guys in the same shot. I mean, there's another hand. They're all they come with a bunch of hands, so it's. Mm-hmm. But it's like there's two, not two balls during a game. That's ridiculous. <laughs> what is this, a scrimmage? Um, Jesus. What is this? Shoot around? Yeah. Um. So this is the other. Uh, this is from the Power Ranger. It doesn't stay on as well, but still, it sits on there. 
because they have nice long necks. So these figures are really fun. They have butterfly shoulders, which is pretty standard. They don't have the drop down legs, which is oh. weird to me. Like I thought these would have all the articulation ever. Yeah. So you can't can't get the legs straight up much more than that. You can go out oh, to the side weird. all you want. No. But it is kind of weird. Like you would think this is the figure you'd want it for. Yeah. So I don't know what that's all about. I would definitely, if you can, get one just to play with, just to check out. Yeah. The someone was taking off the shoes to put them on Marvel Legends, which is kind of fun. I I was gonna like pop all the parts off to switch, so I'd have the pale guy in the in the Celtics jersey because that's mm -hmm. that's the jersey I want. Um, but like I feel like the skin tone, it's not like so crazy, so I didn't feel like it was worth it. But these are a lot of fun. Um, they're in stock and out of stock on Entertainment Earth right now, but uh, they should be getting more a little bit later. Another thing I got this week was it's it's apparently a hundred years of Disney or Mickey Mouse. What is what is this hundred years of? I think oh I think it's a hundred years of Disney. I thought right. Disney was older than that. Here's the box no. that came in. Yeah, it just says Disney one hundred. Yeah. So there's Mickey it's and Minnie. Disney. Disney's one hundred years old. I think next year Mickey is like coming out of or going into like public domain or something like that or that's right that's gonna be things are gonna get weird yeah um so i saw these pop up on amazon it's from mattel mm -hmm. you get mickey and you get Minnie, and they're pretty they're pretty chunky they're like six six inches or more wow yeah kind of the top those. of the ears they come with a ton of stuff well not a ton of stuff but they come with like different alternate hands but the coolest thing really this is the selling point is you can pop their heads off they each come with an alternate head with a kissy face. Whoa, oh. pucker up. <laughs> so oh. if you want to have your Mickey and Minnie posed, making out, smooching. There you go. Look at that. Wow. There you go. Oh, just a kiss on the... Yeah, there you go. Oh, that's sweet. Or maybe like they're singing. Yeah. Like, uh, it reminds me of like... The Peanuts Christmas, where they're like Snoopy. <laughs> That's what he kind of right. looks like when he sings. Ooh. Ooh. But I thought those were really fun. Um, Mickey does have a tail. Sometimes he's depicted as not having a tail. Just as like a Mickey action figure. It's more like it's more like branding Mickey. Like this isn't from the Sorcerer in Stone, like because it's the the white complexion. Mm -hmm. But it's a nice like representation of that character. I think if you just want that That's on your fun. wall or whatever, comes with a nice oval stand with a few different pegs to fit the peg holes in no and then all the hands like I mentioned all the gloves which are interchangeable because for mice men and women have the same hands apparently so yeah you can swap those all around can you swap the hands onto the um onto the what's it was the starting lineup figure you want to put the gloves on the starting lineup figure <laughs> I think I think we can try. Let's see. Yeah, let's pops do one. it. Let's pop these guys off. This head fell off. It's a good start. All right. Let's see. So it might actually work. It doesn't. Oh, I'm excited. I'm gonna really this. push it. Oh, okay. Oh, damn. <laughs> okay. We've just we've uncovered something here. Yeah, it works. I love Look it. At that. I love That's it even the more. Best. That's the best. <laughs> Okay. Yes. It's like that they made those big red boots. Have you seen those? Yes. Like the, uh, yeah. Damn it. So here we go. <laughs> this is how they need to. It's like a NBA Jam. You come out wearing Mickey gloves. Oh, oh man. Here we go. You're on fire. Nobody's nobody's gonna get a pass off that guy. <laughs> that was a good suggestion. Thank you. Yes, I can contribute <laughs> during these. Perfect. Look at that. Oh <laughs> my God. I'm gonna block it. Ho oh, ho. Traveling. <laughs> Lovely, lovely. <laughs> let's keep the oh, let's keep the review train going because we've talked a lot. We we talk a lot about Super Seven on this show, and yes. um, I have been personally pretty hard on them regarding their Power Rangers line because I'm like, first of all, why are you even doing this? Hasbro did these characters; they did them well. Why do you need to make fifty five dollar versions? of these characters. Well, I got series one this week. It includes the Yellow Ranger, the Green Ranger, Goldar, 
the the Tyrannosaurus Rex Zord and the putty. Did not get the putty. I don't feel like they're no meat on the bone, but I did get the other ones. And let me say, I am pleasantly surprised. First of all, this is the original T Rex Zord that combines to become the Megazord. Wow. Vintage. This is the Super 7 version. Look at oh, that. Oh, wow. Look at him. So bigger and like so heavy. So hefty. Yeah. And he, he, they, they, they gave him some pretty good arc- articulation. So he got some ball joints in that tail. Look at oh, that. Oh, I love that. Look at Moving that. Moving all around. Can move his legs all around. Twist here. And then the head side to side like the dog trying to understand what you're saying. Oh, sure. Open the mouth. Oh, yeah. The blaster's in there. So he comes with two sets of alternate hands. So he's like grabby hands. Um, they're not articulated, but it's like every possible pose. He has like fists, which I don't know that he ever had. Mm-hmm. But he also comes with a T-Rex power coin. And look at how thick this thing is. This wow. is currency. This is the nicest coin that anyone has ever made. It's better than the Hasbro one that comes with the, the Morpher. It's better than the Bandai one. Yeah. It is thick. T-H-I-C-C. Look at that. Look at so that. all of the Zords seem like they're coming with this. But it's not clear how they're going to release like the Pterodactyl and the the, the, the um, Triceratops and the Sabertooth Tiger and the Mastodon. I don't know how we're going to get those. Because mm-hmm. the next one is the the Dino Megazord and his coin is like the combined coin, which yeah. never exists as a coin, but like you see it as a graphic. And then they're doing right. the white tiger Zord and the dragon Zord. Which, oh, I'm really excited to get the dragon Zord coin, but this is, this is just a nice piece right here. Is it plastic? No, it's die cast. It's heavy. Oh, that's nuts. Here. I'm going to, I'm going to drop it here. Listen, did you hear that? Uh, it just sounds like a coin, man. Yeah. It's a coin. It's a, it, it's currency. It's silver dollar. Silver dollar Here's, noises over there. Yeah, it's bigger than that. Here's wow. Goldar. Big figure. Um, very nice. I got to put him next to my Hasbro one because I really like the Hasbro one. But this one's good. I think it has more paint detail. I don't think the Hasbro one has the red here. Mm-hmm. Two heads. You can see like the, the trim of his helmet is translucent, which is a nice touch. Here's the problem. I don't have them here, but... He has these two pegs here for yes. his big monkey wings. You know, the flying monkey wings. Right. Um, I already broke one. You can oh, see the no. peg is stuck in there. Oh. <laughs> this happens with everyone. It happened with the, the NECA gargoyle figures. Yeah. Like, you, you can't... You got to make... One of these pieces has to be soft. Either the input has to be soft or the wing has to be soft. Because when you put two hard plastics together right it's gonna hit a point and it's gonna break it's gonna snap because the peg is too small so that's disappointing but honestly i'm not gonna display him with the wings and i think i could probably fix it if i needed to but very nice figure do you need it if you have the hasbro version i don't know i don't know it's up to you yeah we'll find out here's the here's like here's the do or die for this line the rangers so, they put the Green Ranger in Series 1. Good choice. Strong character. I'm displaying him here with this human portrait. I feel like these figures would be better received if they eliminated the human head. Because the human head is the weak point, the weak link of this yeah. line. Now, if you look at it, you probably can't see it too well here but if you were able to look at this in in person the sculpt is there the sculpt looks very similar to the digital render the paint absolutely ruins this figure those eyebrows because they did the eye makes no sense it's got no shading yeah it's just like solid lines and the skin tone is like way too pale it's like really disappointing because i think the sculpt underneath it is pretty good they got, like, the hairline right. Like, whoever sculpted it, I think, really did their homework. But the paint just completely dropped the ball. But the Green Ranger, as the Green Ranger with his helmet, 
looks really good. Yeah. Look at that. That's a that's the best. Do I have the I like put away the the Hasbro version. Let me get it one second. It reminds me of one of the earlier Bandai figures. They for a while there, Bandai was trying all different things before they ended up doing the uh, their version of Lightning Collection. It was like a Legacy, I think. So this is the Hasbro helmet. You can see there. Little from the front. The front. Everyone seems to have trouble with these sculpts, but I think this one, the Super Seven one, is better. I think it's better. I think it's better. Yeah. Similar from the side, but from the front, Hasbro has trouble. I think it, I the, like the green. The visor the green is too. Is nice. You like the Super 7 green? I don't think yeah. that's too. It's like a little darker. So the weird thing about the green from the show is it was almost a turquoise. Really? If you look at the, the Fig Arts figure that came before all this stuff. It's like almost blue. It's weird. But in the American version, he was a Green Ranger. They made him green. So the the, the American costume is definitely more green. Um, so Super 7, their goal is to make these figures look better than to like stuff them with articulation, which is a choice. Yeah. Um, so they got single elbows, but honestly, it's enough. You get the 90 degrees. It would be nice to have a little bit more. You can get it. You can get it to his face. So you okay. can do the dragon flu. You, you got to push it a little, but you can get it there. What it really needs is it needs the butterfly elbows to get just that little bit extra because you can't put the hands together. He comes with a morpher, like a separate piece for the morpher, but you can't get the hands to connect in front of them. Oh, that's all you can do. You can't get it anymore. So that would be nice. But just looking at it, like the silhouette of the figure, very solid, very solid. So I'm really happy with this figure. Good. Looks like a good figure. I'm I'm waiting. Uh, Here's a yellow there's ranger. There's a couple things that I want to buy on Entertainment Earth. I have them in a cart, mm -hmm. and I'm just sitting on them for whatever reason. I don't know why. The Moon Watcher. I'm really obsessed about that figure right now. I really think what I is need that? It. It's from the 2001 series that they did. What, what is um, 2001? A space oh, the Odyssey. movie. The movie. Oh, Space Odyssey. Yeah. Okay. Is that one on? on uh, it's on. It's on like super discount. So I think I could get it for like twenty three <laughs> bucks, ten percent off. And with I don't know what's wrong with bot. me. I know. Well, you you just always think there'll be another another deal or something. I keep thinking that it's going to go down in price one more time, but I one more time, one more time. It's like that it's Ninja gonna... Turtles four pack on uh, Walmart. It's right. Like, how low can you go? How low can you go before I bite? I always I always think about. I don't think about that. I always think about Homer going to see Mr. T at the mall. <laughs> it's like I'll go a little later. I'll go a little later. Okay. When I finally okay. did, he wasn't gone. When I asked the man who was there at the mall, he said, "I don't know when he's coming back," or whatever the hell he says. It's like, will he be back? Well, I don't yeah. know. If he'll be I back. don't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, what you got to do is look around. Is it sold anywhere else? And what's the price? Other places. Sure. It's much higher. Got to jump on that shit. Um, a little more show and tell. So I talked about these when they came out. The Mogwai from NECA from Gremlins 2. I love these figures. They re-released them, and they added the Mountain Dew uh, Mogwai. Yes. Um, somebody on like the, the Mogwai Facebook group was selling the whole set loose for 50 bucks. Wow. And I was like, is this a scam? But I was <laughs> like, I think it's worth it to find out. And I got them. These are they. And wow. uh, I'm really happy to have a loose set because I wanted to keep the other set Mints on card, but look at that yeah. little eyes around. They're there beautiful. We go. These are like fifty bucks. These are probably my favorite figures of all time, just because of how much I enjoy the characters and how well the figures turned out, how faithful sure. they are. They're striped. This figure is very hard to find. The original version. I just bucks. love this Gizmo figure. The the Gizmo figure from the original Gremlins two set is like Rambo Gizmo, where he's got the the red bandana yeah. and his face is like, like he's mad. <laughs> so this right. is like happy gizmo. Like I wish they would release the mad gizmo without the bandana. 
because I think that was really cute. But this one looks really good too. It's just like, look at this. I'm like amazed they were able to capture their likeness because it's all fur. Like it's, sure. they, it could have gone poorly very easily. I don't know who sculpted these, but they did an amazing job. And the feature with the, the moving eyes, just so much fun. Oh, I love them. Awesome. So sometimes if you see a deal that's too good to be true, sometimes it's just a good deal. Not everybody's out to get you. No, <laughs> sometimes just... people just like stop caring about something and just want to get it out of the house. <clears throat> I sent you this link to these three and three quarter Ghostbuster figures. Yes. Which are not licensed. <laughs> right. They are bootlegs. They're also three hundred dollars, which I don't I don't know how that's working out. Yeah, um, what do you think about these? What, so, what's going on here? This is the first time these have come. Uh, these have passed by me. There's been other ones too that are the three and three quarter inch retro style Ghostbusters, and it just seems wild that nobody is trying to stop these these guys from being like, "Hey, stop!" Mm-hmm. Because <laughs> hey. I think, hey, you know, I think they had card art for mm-hmm. for a release before, and they just had like characters names the actors all on there and then of course the toy yeah and i mean yeah sure they're fun but nothing's stopping hasbro from putting out something similar or contracting it out to super seven and having a reaction line for it not for 300 bucks well that's the thing these are that's just these it's not like this is a, a character that we have no versions of like right. there are enough ghostbuster toys like yeah. you know, the, the real ghostbusters are uh, like the new the ones thing. like the, the slime features or whatever like they're three yeah. basically three and three quarters they are so it's weird and they're not like the, the likenesses are not there i don't know if that's intentional or not but right. it's just a weird thing maybe it's they just think that the ghostbuster fandom is like so hot that they're like enough people to sell for this price i don't know Oh. I will not be partaking, but no. I, I thought it was worth mentioning because I've seen it like posted on some legitimate sites like they're promoting it, which I think is kind of weird because it's yes. not a licensed product. It's a bootleg. Right. But and it's like it's the value. How are you ever going to it's not an investment value. It's like who's going to buy these? It's not like it's Blitzway Ghostbuster yeah. uh, one six scale figures. It's like you said, bootlegs. The value is always just going to be yeah. what you think it's worth, and it's never going to be worth three hundred dollars to somebody else. Yeah, it should have no res- resell value. No resale value. Who's doing these Battle Toad figures? Premium DNA. Yeah, it's Premium DNA. So this company sort of spawned out of that other wholesaler or like the e-tailer. Right. So I've always had like a weird feeling about them, but they've made product. You have their Mad Balls that you yeah. like. They're very good. They're very good figures. They are doing Battle Toads, and they put out. They're supposed to be out this summer. Um, mm-hmm. They put out some new prototype photos. They look good. Like the, they're unpainted, which is always like the paint is where things can really go awry. You know, Q Super sure. Seven. But like as unpainted samples, they look good. I since this game came out for the NES, I loved Battle Toads. Like it was obviously a TMNT ripoff, but it was fun. I don't know. I liked it a lot. Yeah. Um, do I like it enough to pay $50 per figure? I don't know. Maybe I do. There's also some villain characters. There's a pig character and then there's a skeleton rat or rat skeleton. Yeah. And he looks really good. I always enjoy skeleton figures. So he's got some good ball joint articulation. Looks very nice. The, um, they also released, photos of their uh, mashup Mad Balls versus uh, Garbage Pail Kids that is part of their, I think it's like Series 2 mm-hmm. um, of the Mad Balls line, but it also encapsulates like a Versus line. They're like variants of the ones that were already released for Mad Balls, but they also contain um, these Garbage Pail, uh, Garbage Pail Kid figures. But the accessories are where you earn a lot of that $50 Oh, you yeah. know, cost. So the sure. ones that I have, they have like six or seven different sets of hands. They've got mm-hmm. all sorts of, yeah. you know, things to hold on to. Chainsaw with this one. Right. So this just, and then, so the, I saw these prototypes or the unpainted sam- samples of the, of the characters, different face plates for the, uh, for the garbage pail kids. So they could have different, mm. different looks. A lot of fun stuff incorporated into them, so I might. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't get them at first, but if they they come up, I might might pick up a couple sets just because they are cool looking, go. 
and they are they're, they're it's a sizable figure it's not like it's a tiny mm-hmm. small figure they're at least six to seven inches tall right yeah it, from the photos you can't really tell how big they are but yeah when you have them in hand they're that really you know they're 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 hefty figures they, right you could see the value is there and those battle toads figures they're all over the place in terms of size i think one of the villains is like 14 inches yes. tall that's the weird thing about it they have two figures one of them is 12 inches one is 18 inches yeah so 90 and 134 dollars respectively i don't know how many of those they're gonna make like i can see people buying the the, the two battle toad figures right but how many people are gonna buy like you they're, they're selling a set of the six figures for 408 dollars <laughs> And most of that is made up from the two big figures. So a choice has been made. Uh, we'll see how that plays out. And uh, I mean, I don't know. It's 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 interesting the way they're doing things. They they it maybe is. they see that there's a market there. There's a hot market for uh, battle toads because there's been no battle toads merch. I think there was like a bendy figure at one point, but very yeah. little for all these years. So uh, we uh, Mr. Potato Head is probably one of the most famous toys he started out as a literal potato and you would stick right you get like, you get his you get his you get his eyes and his nose and you just get the the, the pieces yeah. of the body to put you on just him. go get a potato yeah. it could be a carrot it could have um, been anything but yeah potato it could, it could have been like as we saw in toy story 3 he could just be a, a wrap <laughs> right yeah himself, a tortilla wrap that was cute yep. um so he obviously he eventually morphed into a plastic potato there were the potato head kids that we enjoyed as, as mm-hmm. children. They've tried to to mash him up, get it mash with um, different pop culture things. Yeah, Hasbro. I don't know if it's Hasbro. I think Hasbro owns Potato Head. They so do. He, I think they're licensing it out to other companies. Right. It's this new line called Pop Taters. So you have the basic Potato Head, and then they're putting clothes on him to make him look like other characters i'm just looking at a list here there's bob ross there's gene simmons from kiss there's the dude from big lebowski there's a a garbage pail kid there's dwight from the office but the one that popped up this week (laughs) sonic the hedgehog now this i mean there are some characters that lend themselves to the mr potato head dynamic and there are some that just feel like very tacked on. <laughs> this is one of those where, like, how do we make this? Let's just put a potato in Sonic's skin. Right? Yeah, it looks like it looks like here. it looks like they've they've found Sonic. They've killed mm-hmm. him, and then they've they killed like, him. Let's let's do yes. some taxidermy. Oh, but we don't have yes. a mold, but we have a potato. Uh huh. So yeah. let's just yeah. yeah, like you said, but it like wrap didn't, his skin around the potato. It couldn't quite fit all the way around, so they just left the front exposed. <laughs> Good enough. Good yeah. enough. That being said, it is very funny to me. <laughs> it looks just so hilarious. It does because it looks stupid. It looks it ridiculous. Does. But that's well, fun, I guess. It's got the big just the big opening where it's all just potato. Yeah. And that's just looks, it's just all potato. It looks weird. it looks crazy. Yeah, it looks so weird. It looks like something that would be a meme. Like right. I think that's the goal. They made it so bizarre that like somebody please turn this into a meme. Got the big eyes, big dilated eyeballs. <laughs> oh, I kind of love it. It's like fifteen bucks. I think I got to go on. Okay, it's just, there you go. It's so ridiculous. Comes with a stand because it's in a running pose. He's got a ring in his hand. Yeah. I need somebody to propose to their fiance holding a. Uh, put a real ring in the hand of oh um, there you go will hasbro pay for this person's wedding if they propose using the pop tater sonic that'd be nice what do you think hasbro it's pretty good idea there right let's get that going it's a grand idea we were so concerned that mcdonald's wasn't gonna have plastic toys anymore but two months in a row you had guardians of the galaxy and then now little mermaid and they're the same not bobblehead not funko pop style yeah I think if it's Disney, they're like, no, you're going to give them plastic, yeah. McDonald's. Them so plastic. help us. So help you, God. They have Power Rangers coming up soon this yeah. year. So I'm very curious. This, I mean, those have to be plastic, too. Like, there's no, no way they're doing, like, paper it's, play. It's, it's like, a storybook. <laughs> it's going to be a storybook. It's yeah, like you're going you to go. Chick-fil-A. You get a storybook. Draw these. Color them in. Color them in. Build, tape your Megazord together. Yeah, the right. Yeah. <laughs> 
No, but I'm interested to see what they, they do for those. They did Power Rangers not too long ago, and they were the same or at least similar, like not bobbleheads, where it's just like the figure like pre-posed or something. I don't know that I ever saw those though in person, but I think that was McDonald's. I really just want to be wowed by McDonald's. So like I, last weekend after the show, um, I had that time off. I had gone to the local flea market Mm -hmm. and there were a couple of vendors there that had just some nice bins to dive into and like just assemble like a pile of stuff that you find. Mm -hmm. And they had so much, this old McDonald's like premiums, old McDonald's like, they had um yeah. they had the Muppet Babies. So I found oh, Miss yeah. Piggy's little car. They had uh-huh. I saw a couple Fraggles from for the Fraggle Rock promotion. The old I crazy the flocked cars. Bernstein Bears. Oh, those were great. Yeah. Weren't those great? Those were just that was just so fun. And then mm-hmm. my kid, because he doesn't know, you know, apples to oranges sometimes in terms of media content. He's a little, he's a little well, dumb, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um <laughs> He's no, not no, media no, savvy. No, yeah. no, yeah, he's not. He's not. He's, he's not media brilliant. savvy. Right, brilliant. Sorry, so, but he Will. sees a I'm gorilla. Just that's just King Kong to him. So, case in point, yeah. we're at Walmart. He sees the new two packs of the uh, Rise of the Beast um, figures. Yeah. for Transformers. And mm. I was like, I don't really want to buy this, but I said I could get you a robot King Kong, and I meant robot King mm-hmm. Kong, like the actual character. And yeah. they, you know, I think Robo Kong. I forget who makes. Th- Jazzwares make those or somebody makes them and they have a, they've got a King Kong where his like jacks they have a King Kong where like blasters come out of his wrists and everything like that oh nice and I'm like okay that's like no King Kong I've ever seen on Uh on the screen but whatever couldn't find it but they had King Kong right but they did have the optimal Optimus Primal so I grabbed that for him and just to Mm -hmm. kind of sink this back over to McDonald's toys this thing's essentially just a McDonald's toy yeah. <laughs> it like yeah. it boasts seven seven steps to changing it, and essentially mm-hmm. all you do is like the back plate, mm-hmm. um, yep. is like stationary, and then you pop the the torso out and roll it around. <laughs> so on one side it's the robot form, and the other side it's the gorilla form, and then you just switch uh-huh. his feet front to back and uh-huh. pull up his shoulder pads, and then that's it. And I'm like, yeah. oh my god. Remember when McDonald's had the Beast Wars? I do. Transformers. That's yeah. essentially what these are now. They so are. You, f- you flip the back out. Right. I was thinking about this the other day. When we were growing up, especially Beast Wars time, the figures were hard to transform. Like, Oh, my <laughs> there God. There were not a lot of them that were, that were easy. Like, I don't know if Hasbro realized that they had to make these things simpler or if kids just don't have the time for it. Like if, yeah. if there's like, there's like too many things on their iPad that they could be doing instead. Right. If they get frustrated for a second, trying to t- turn Cheetor into a cheetah. They're going to be like, forget this. I'm just going to go download something. It was like, well, well maybe was the doing, kids are dumb. My maybe kid was doing now. My yeah. older was doing uh, oldest was doing a Lego today. Mm-hmm. And it was a quick Lego. six, yeah. six plus Lego. But like, like you said, mm-hmm. Not to dumb them down, but like not to put too much in front of them. Yeah. One page just had the positioning for like one brick, and that was all it was. And I was like, it's a whole page dedicated just <laughs> to putting this one brick. piece. It's a load bearing brick. Yeah. I was like, this is absurd. And she's like, what are you talking about, Daddy? And I'm like, I don't, never mind. I'm having an adult moment here. I'm amazed that I was able to stick with Transformers for as long as I did because yeah. I you put what those instructions in front of me for Lego oh. or Beast Wars or whatever it's like it's gibberish to me my mind cannot comprehend like I can't right. see what they're trying to say like by learning I like I have a learning disability when it comes to toy instructions like I have no idea what it's trying to tell me I just have to fiddle with it or maybe watch right. a video but even then I'm like Ugh. but like are there people who can look at this and see like a different shaded hand is moving here and there's like this direction, but I can't really tell what the arrow is trying to tell me. My brother like, could do it like crazy. And I was one it. of those okay. people who would be like, I want, I want it from point uh, spot was position one all the way to the end. And yeah. I want it just to get there. And it, yeah. like you said, it doesn't matter. Like the means of getting it there. I just want to fiddle with it. Yeah. And at, if it, if it comes out accurate, that's fine. If it doesn't, whatever. Well, see, I would be very upset if I 
transformed it and it things didn't fit perfectly like if oh, things sure. didn't click in so i would be like did i do this wrong did i right. like is something supposed to be pushed in more but like the instructions aren't going to help you there like it it's was, not going to uh, say like push this in 30 degrees right it was the, so the i the just depth throw charge away. the depth even. charge figure which was the larger figure i'd always come yeah. up you know you know he it would be my brothers but i'd be playing with it and trying to transform it but you always wind up with like his waist portion like flopping around from like the top <laughs> And you'd be yeah. like, damn it, this is supposed to stand it's still. Right. It's and it's just like, like this. Burr, 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 burr. The worst one ever was the Beast Wars one that was a combiner where it has three transformers oh, yeah. that would combine. Well, those were all imports, Megazord. too. That was the thing. Those yeah. weren't even, I mean, they Kids were transformers. Are <laughs> but yeah, those were like, better yeah, at this, this stuff. This isn't, yeah. this is the Japanese. This is what we're giving the Japanese mm. kids are getting right. these transformers. <laughs> But it like never worked. I could no. never get it right. It was just a disaster. Oh and, my like, god! Like the booklet, instruction booklet, like it would fold out forever. Right. Well, that <laughs> like, was the what? thing too, because it was like it was three ant, three transformers into one. Yeah. But each one of those transformers could also transform into a transformer itself. That's right. Yeah. And so, so they had, had a third form, form and then the to third form into the Megazord. Oh my yeah. god! Yeah. It was too much. It was too and much for any they child. They were always like, ah, oh, it's the arms. <laughs> <laughs> and if you did manage to get it together, you couldn't move it because it would fall apart. Right. Like yeah. it wasn't. No. It wasn't like there's just no way to make this toy st- stay together. Keep to, keep like, your window closed when you're transforming this because the slightest breeze is just gonna blow it over. And it was like super top heavy because <laughs> like right. the legs was always just one of the animals, so yes. it didn't work. <laughs> Oh, good times, good times. Yeah, kids today don't have to deal with that. No, they don't. No, they have no patience for that. Right. All right, anything else for this big week? I had three big bags of Dick Tracy figures that I was going to show off, but I can wait on mm-hmm. those. All right, we'll save your dick for next week. Yeah. All right, everybody, well, you know what we say? We don't want to grow up, but we already did. Have a great week, everybody. Bye, everyone. <laughs>